Okay, folks, look, it's our favorite time of the year, right? And guess what we're doing for breakfast? We're doing biscuits and gravy. Now, I'm gonna come over here. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit bake. We're gonna hit 425 and start, because that's what we're gonna need to preheat. Now, this is a simple, you know, recipe to make. A lot of people are uh, nervous about making their, uh, you know, their own biscuits. Now, let me show you. As you guys see, we got some ingredients right there, right? Look, those ingredients are on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com, right? So, first thing we do is put a little heat under here. We got a medium flame. We just wanna heat up our, our olive oil. My olive oil, which is an infused olive oil, this is a uh, scallion. What I'm gonna do is now, I'm just gonna take this and just squeeze this out. Now, sometimes when you go there, you don't have, uh, they won't have like the one pound ground pork, you know what I mean? So you might have to get them, you know, in the, in the links, right? If you do, all you gotta do is do exactly what I'm doing. Just push the filling out, that's all. So once you have everything in here, right, you wanna get yourself one of these little meat mashers. Now notice how I didn't let anything, I like to let them sit down there and form a little crust. That right there gives it a nice, unique, you know, a little taste to it also. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna break this up. This will be my first time breaking it up. You know what I mean? Then we wait until we don't have any more pink. And then I'm gonna go ahead and break it up into small pieces because this is going into the gravy. If you pay attention to this part right here, look, I got flour and I got the rest of my dry ingredients. Remember, I measure out everything, right? So what we're getting ready to do is get all of this in here, mix it up, and then we finna work on our workstation because we finna make our, you know, our biscuits. All right, and just to elaborate when I said that unique, you know, taste to it. If you guys come in here and take a look, maybe I'll do it like this so you guys can see it. You see how some of this has crust on it? Look at that right there. And I'm just looking for the crusty piece. Look at that right there. Don't that remind you like a breakfast sandwich? I mean a breakfast uh, sausage? So, now I'm gonna go ahead and break this down just a little bit further. And then anything that is not fully cooked, but right now the objective is just not to see any pink. We're gonna continue that into our gravy, right? Okay, so we got all our ingredients. What you guys didn't see is I'd had pepper. That was sitting off to the side, right? So we just dump all of this in here. Don't forget, folks, always keep that hot, soapy water, you know, right next to you. You guys, look, I got it right here. So I like to clean as I go, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and whisk all this together and get this mixed thoroughly. Okay, so look, here's my butter. Is it's cold just now out of the refrigerator, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down just like you see. We just want this to be on the cold side. All right, and I cut them down like this. I'm just mixing this in here like that so they can get coated, right? Now I'm gonna add my shortening to it, right? Now, you see that we got this pastry utensil right here? I'm just gonna move this over here like this and just start working it in a little bit. Once I hit it, and you know, I kind of like blend it, just break up some some more of the pieces of uh, butter. You know what I mean? You start coming up with pieces like this. You know what I mean? To get a little bit like on the doughy side, right? So what I'm gonna do now is just make a little center here. I'm gonna bring into my buttermilk. Now I'm gonna take my buttermilk and just pour this in here. And you want to keep your buttermilk as cold as possible, folks. Now I'm gonna get my little spatula and just start folding things over like this. And you just want to keep folding it. We don't want to mix it. Don't use no utensil. Like, don't try to get your mixer or nothing like that. We just want to use that buttermilk and let it work until we start to come up with like a, a doughy consistency. Okay, so look, this is what you want to do. You want to get yourself a, uh, a workstation, right? I'm going to use my countertop. So what you want to do is put a little flour on here and just spread this because you don't want none of your dough that you're getting ready to mix up. You don't want it to stick, right? So you want to put it on here. This will make sure nothing sticks. Now I'm going to go ahead and just take my dough and just drop this in to center, just like you see, right? It's got that doughy consistency. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna give this a little bit of a massage with my hand. But as you can see how it starts to come together, look at this, this is what you want. Keep folding it back and forth over here to the top, just like you see. And if you feel like it needs a little bit more, you know, buttermilk, you guys can just like add a sprinkle or two. But I'm gonna tell you, if you just work it, butter and everything that's in here remember we use cold butter it'll all show up in here all right so now i like to take a little well i ain't gonna say a little because i like to put make sure i got enough flour on my rolling pin right that's what you want now we have all of this flour that's on here right you can see how i just been folding this over i'm gonna fold it over like that and now i'm gonna work it work it right so 
We're just gonna roll this out this way. Roll it that way. And you don't wanna roll it out too flat because that'll make, you know, your uh, biscuits flat. But you see how it is like this? Now I usually take one half of it and then roll that over. Make sure I keep my work surface full of flour. All right, so now I'm gonna roll it this way. This is how we get those layers of flakes, folks. All right, and then if you feel like some of it's sticking, just go ahead, run some of this on here and just roll it out. I like to have mine close to a half inch. Now you guys might want to double this. Now I'm gonna show you what how, how big they come out when I do it. All right? You see that? I'm gonna roll one more time, and that'll probably be the last. Now I'm gonna bring a little flour over here. These little pieces right here to come off, you can just add them on top because we're gonna mash those in, right? So now I take the rolling pin and just start rolling it just like you see. And the more you guys do this, the more this will become real easy to you folks. I got a biscuit cutter right here, right? So if you notice, I went ahead and just made sure I put a little flour in the inside of that, right? So now I'm gonna take this, drop this down like that. I'm gonna make me another one. Now remember, if your dough is not the same equal height on all ends, you're gonna have a lean to it. You know what I mean? I'm just doing it like this, just so I can show you guys what I do with it next. And that's gonna give us the flakes. You see that right there? Remember the layers, how I kept folding it? There you have it. I don't wanna lose this on the top. I want all of this to be on there. And then you want to get yourself, you know, a baking sheet. And then you just want to start lining them up. Look at that right there. That's how we get that. And I'm going to put them close together. You know why? Because each one going to touch each other as they rise. You know, they're going to help each other rise. Now we take this, fold it a couple of times. And what we're going to do now is we're going to roll that out. And then we're going to make a few more of these. Look at those right there. If you feel like you need to put a little flour on the top you can you know what i mean if you want to dust them you know what i mean uh, it really just depends how you do them but the first ones came out like that because they was underneath you know like some of my you know flour counter right so put these in they all close i'm at 425 we're gonna set a timer for 18 minutes okay so i just turned everything off let's look at them and this is what you'll come up with right here i don't know why that one didn't brown that way they go to tell me how everything is like heating up in my oven but this is what you wanna come up with, right? So now I'm gonna set this over here on my stove. And what we're gonna do is, I'm bringing this back up to temp right now. Now you guys can make it in a different order. You know what I mean? You can do it like that, but I just really wanted everybody to, you know, see it the way I'm doing it here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions to it, right? Now you guys can add as much onion to it as possible, you know, that you guys like on your end, or guess what? You can omit, omit them, you know, just totally, right? So now, we gonna go ahead and cook these down just a little bit. Remember, we don't wanna see no pink, right? But don't forget, it's gonna continue to cook. And then I hit it right here for the last time because I want it to be small, right? I just wanted to have, make sure we got that pork sausage all over. Hey, and me saying that, of course, you guys can make this out of any type of sausage that you would like. They got some good turkey sausage out here. You know what I mean? Uh, if you can find a beef sausage that you like, you can use this the same way if you guys aren't doing uh, pork. So once your onions get down to like about right where you would like for them to be, right? They gonna go down a little bit further. Now I done switched over and got my rubber spatula, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my flour and we are gonna work this in, right? Now this right here is gonna be our thickening agent. You guys can already see how it's coming together already, right? So we wanna cook this, that flour taste out, right? Let me look at my fire. Let me reduce this down to a medium flame. You know what I mean? I was like at a medium high. Right, just trying to get those onions and you know catch up. You see how it rendered a lot of pork fat, right? But now we filling it with you know that flour. Here's where all the questions gonna come. You guys can use whole milk. Now when it comes for me to cook, I always use whole milk. You guys can use half and half if you want it to be a little bit more on the thicker side. If you use whole milk, we gotta cook it a little longer. You know what I mean to get it to thicken up the way we would like for it to be. And then we go ahead and plate and then we pour everything on the you know on top of our sausages, right? So. This has been long enough. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding this in. Now I'm gonna raise my fire up. I'm only gonna add so much to this right now. I'm back up to a medium high flame. And what we wanna do is we wanna get this all mixed and incorporated. And then what we wanna do is, you know, put a little time under it with a little constant stir. Now, let me just say this part. If you wanna have a little bite, now will be the time for you to go ahead and put in a little bit of uh, red chili flakes. You guys can put in like a half a teaspoon 
You know what I mean? That's still kid friendly. It keeps everybody say, mm, this is nice, nice and warm with just a small bite. For those of you guys that want to have more, go ahead and add more. For me, I'm getting ready to put in a half a teaspoon. Okay, so remember I tell you your desired thickness. This is what I like to see right here, right? Now will be the time that you can go ahead and hit it with your pepper. And if you want to put some more seasonings in there, you can, but I promise you this combination right here is just right. And because it's pork and it's already been seasoned, you know what I mean? I'm only going to add just a, I'm going to turn my fire off now because I think I'm thick enough. I'm just going to add a generous pinch of salt and we're going to leave that alone just like that, folks. Now, while I have the fire off, and if it gets a little too thick, if you want to add a little bit more milk to it to, you know, thin it out, you can do that also. But this right here, ooh, my goodness. Let me hurry up and get my, my platter ready and get this going. And then last but not least, I like to put a little color in there, but notice I'm using chives, you guys. Chives do more than just add that color. They give it a nice little, a little taste. You know what I mean? So I just put this in here, and it's okay. You can see the little green in there. And again, if it get too thick for you, I don't know how you guys like yours, but if it get too thick, all you got to do is add a little bit more milk to it, or you can thin it out with a little bit. If you have any in your refrigerator, a little chicken broth, you know what I mean? All of that is like levels of, and layers of flavor. You see, I just stacked them right here. So what I'm going to do is, what brought you guys here is this thumbnail that you guys are going to see right now, right? And that's just myself taking it, scooping this up like this. Right, and you want to see the consistency of it? Look at that right there. That's the gravy you want. And then notice that you're getting, you know, that ground mild pork in there just like you would like. Look at that. All right, so let me go ahead and pour this on here, and then I want to hurry up and taste these. There it is right there. Listen, I'm gonna get right into this right here. Let's just go ahead and get this, get this cut down. Look, nice, flaky. You guys can see the layers, see that right there? But this is what you wanna know. You wanna know how it is with this gravy. Get it like that, and guess what, folks? Cheers. Those red chili flakes was a must. Hold on. That right there is fire, folks. Now, listen, if you like biscuits and gravy, I made this a couple of times and I have seasoned it different ways. Remember, we taste as we go, so we have success like this right here, right? Now, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out here. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. I gotta hurry up and get out of here because everybody wanna reach in here and get them some. I'm out, peace.